What's up, you mother humpers? What's going on? Nothing, right? A uh, little range report. Um, as you can see, this SIG to me shot phenomenal. Now, this is to a guy that shoots not all the time. Imagine what a pro can do with this gun. I don't know if you've seen the last video, but uh, it shot a really tight group. Um, I wanted to bring a few things up. Uh, well, I was, uh, I want to. I put a hundred rounds through it, so this this gun now has, with with the 357 barrel, it, it now has 250 rounds through it, without with zero failures. That's that's fucking great. I don't think the Sig will ever. When you fire a Sig, it feels like it, it gives you that feeling like this ain't gonna jam. You can't even make this gun jam. I mean that's the feeling it gives you. Um, this particular Sig Sour right here. This is a pretty expensive gun, but it has the short reset trigger. I mean, the trigger on this thing is specifically, specifically very short. Okay. Gun's empty. Okay, now when you pull, let me take the mag out. When you pull the trigger, okay, now hold the trigger in. Now when I pull the trigger, the slide back, now watch how, how watch how close it resets. Look at that. It's already ready to go. Right? Boom. That's why you can shoot real accurate with it. You don't have to let the trigger go all the way forward and then start your start your motion over again. Um, it's really, really amazing. Uh, people think this is a wide grip. For me it's not. I can shoot it well. And um, I'm real happy with this pistol. I've had this for quite a few years, quite a few years now. So you know me, guys. If I have a gun for quite a few years, I must really, really like it. Uh, the only thing I've done to it is put a steel guide rod in there, and it's not affecting anything. Like I said so far, since I put that in and that barrel in, it's going 250 without without any problems at all. This Sig has night sights on it. I think they're Trigicon. Not sure. They look like Trigicons. I don't know. Um, this is the P226 Elite, which means it is it is not an aluminum frame. This is all steel, so this sucker's heavy. I think it's like 42 ounces. I don't know. I don't weigh my guns, but it feels like a feels like a little heavier than a full size 1911. It's beefy, but it's a great great range gun. It's a great great shoulder holster gun. Fantastic shoulder holster gun. And it's super friggin' accurate, okay? Um, I took the target home. Usually I don't do that, but if I take a target home, uh, I'm pretty pretty impressed with it. So the only other target I ever took home was my Ed Brown, which is up here. And uh, this target looks pretty much almost as good as that Ed Brown. Almost. Pretty damn close. So I'm going to take it apart and clean it. I'm just, this is not a cleaning video. I'm just going to talk about the gun. And the uh, SIGs are like Glocks, they're very easy to take apart, but you don't have to pull the trigger with a SIG. All you have to do is pull that back, swing that lever down, and that's it. <laughs> that amazing? Comes right off. Uh, they're very simple, there's not a lot of parts with a SIG Sour, and uh, that's why it's very, very easy to clean. Uh, I will not drop this in the ultrasonic cleaner because, well, it's got parts that are trapped and in between things and all that, so I'm just going to have to clean it by hand, and I won't do that. Um, there's the uh, steel recoil spring. I got this, uh, the guide rod. You can get these guide rods at guiderod.com. That's where you get them from. If, because the SIGs now come with plastic rods. I don't know why, but they do. But if you don't like it, for a few bucks you can change it. And here's a stainless steel guide rod. And this, this fig has the uh, tweeted, um, three braided, tweeted recoil spring, which it never loses the memory. I mean, it takes a long time before these wear out. Okay. And uh, that's it. Pretty much it with this. And the only thing, other thing I wanted to bring out is there's a 357 barrel I got. And I got this from Top Gun Supply. They're about $159. And you could get the uh, 357 SIG barrel. You can get the... The 40 barrel, either one will work in here. Uh, I sold my 40 barrel. I think I made a big mistake because now 
Uh, I think I wish I had it, but it, it's cool. I, I like the 357 SIG running in this. It's running, it's running awesome. So I got a lot of cleaning to do, guys. These expensive guns, I clean them by hand. I don't put them in my cleaner because I'm very anal, you know? Now, when I was shooting the gun, I started out with a box of Winchester white box. Everyone has different ways when they're shooting. Some people shoot good right away, then as they shoot, they get worse. That's me. My first three magazines are my best. Then after that, uh, my shooting, my, my, my group gets bigger and bigger. I guess, I don't know if I'm getting tired or, you know, I can't concentrate or I have a tension span of a gnat. I have balls of a gnat, I know that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I shot the Winchester white box and then I had, a, I had a good target. It wasn't too impressive, it was a good target. Then I switched to this brand of ammunition. Now I can't pronounce this, but this ammunition when i switched to this my target looked 50 percent better my group i swear to god went from this to this as soon as i switched over now i don't know if it's because i just shot better with this ammo it like i shot better or if it's the ammo it was such a dramatic change i'm gonna say it's the ammo all i know is this I'm stocking up on this stuff. It shot great. Oh my god, everywhere you pointed the gun, it put it right there. Nailed it. Tack hammer. So, and what's cool about this stuff is this isn't that much money, this brand. Can you pronounce it? Bill, Bill's good, Bill has good grammar. Watch this, Billy. What's this say? Come on, Bill. Don't let the fat get to your head. I know you can pronounce that. I don't know what that is. Lier and can't do it, but can't do it. <laughs> Balot. Who knows? All I know is this. I want a whole lot of it. That's for sure. So I just wanted to mention that. Winchester had shot good. I switched to this ammo and it was phenomenal. It was really amazing. And got my two t-shirts here from uh you know, Sons of Guns is one of my favorite gun shows. You know, Sons of Guns was the first gun show. And uh, you guys, you know, I know some of you guys don't like that show because of the drama with the girl and the boyfriend. And that does suck. I admit that. That, that shit, nobody wants to see that shit. We, we want to see the guns. But remember this. It's not, it's not, it's not the people in the gun show that want that stuff in there. It's the, it's the Hollywood producers. You know how they are. They're very shell. These Hollywood producers very shallow they're rich people they have no idea what middle class people are like they're so out of touch with reality everything's about money and that's how they are so what they do is they say hey let's get some drama in this show let's go beyond the gun community let's go beyond the gun viewers let's get regular people watching the show too and, that, and that's why they do that that's why they're talking about the boyfriend or they're showing you the guys yelling at each other that, that's that's it's it's all Hollywood bullshit. Believe me, I'm sure Will does not like that shit. I'm I'm positive he don't. But it's still a good gun show. I mean, what would you rather watch? Tom Knapp, like I said before, Tom Knapp shoot clay pigeons. I mean, the guy's talented, and he was on Sons of Guns. But how much could you watch that? And I mean, this is what was on TV before Sons and Guns. It's Shooting USA, which I used to look forward to it every Wednesday. But now that Sons of Guns is on, and American Guns is on, and now this other show called um, uh, Combat Pawn. I mean, you got all these gun shows coming on. Do you know how good that is? You want anti-gun people to see these shows, because it, it lets them know guns are here to stay. And guns are a normal thing. It's not that wacky. Look, it's right and funny. It's on TV. It's on all the time. So if you guys slam the show and say that show sucks and they're assholes... You're biting a hand to feed your rights. That helps your gun rights. Gun shows help your gun rights. Trust me. So, if you don't like the show, that's fine, but you still watch it because you want to see them work on the guns. And uh, I just got this one, a 2XL. And they ship quick too, man. They're, you know, they're like 20 bucks a shirt plus shipping, but who cares? That's my uh, red jacket shirt. You guys seen that a million times. I'm not going to show it to you. I got that. 
right off their website. And then this one, I never had this style before. I've seen Ron, you know, IBS Ron, Mr. Shit Pants. Got this one now. This one's really cool. You have to admit, even though if you don't like Red Jacket, they have the coolest logo. Black and red, I mean, that, that says guns. It's very gunny looking. It's like HK and Ruger, black and red. You know, it's cool. Look at the back. Really cool shirts. I love these shirts. Get screwed, you bastard computer bastard. Okay, I don't want to keep touching my new shirts with my dirty hands. I want to clean my SIG. I just wanted to give you a quick... Uh, information on this this ammunition and the SIG shop right with and I uh, hope it helped you thanks for watching thanks for all the PMs and I especially want to say hello to Larry you know who you are Larry I got your PM you said you go to the library to watch the videos I really appreciate that dude that's a big that's that's pretty uh, flattering so just want to say hi to my man Larry and uh, that's it guys I'll see you soon with something else I'm sure